Dragucci design in Minitab. So just copy the data as the layout of Taguchi design where you have the internal variables here and then the external variables are like this. You can see the layout in the earlier video. So this is the Taguchi design layout. You can see these are the internal condition control variable and these are I have two external variables however I have four different conditions so four different y so this is my y1 y2 y3 y4 they came from these four different in environmental conditions so I have copied the data uh, as you do in a Taguchi layout and then you go to stat doe Taguchi. If you click on the Taguchi design, it will say you cannot analyze because you haven't created design. So then create hit yes OK. And then the factors, I have three factors. The I1 internal factor was the rubber, um, I think, let me go back. So what was that? So these are the three variables. So I1 was the thread part squaring, then I have the rubber quality, construction type of the tire, and then temperature, humidity is the environmental condition. So let's go back to the mini tab. So, and then I don't have any signal factor here, so skip that, hit OK. And my responses are here. They come from that four environmental conditions that I have. Um, leave everything as it is uh, click on that options where it says uh, larger is the better in this case I am I want better tire life so the average life of the tire would be better so select that larger is the better hit OK and just leave everything as it is hit OK so this is the output so let me explain the output uh, this one gives you the noise to signal ratio so the higher value is better so variable one which was the thread per square inch is not running that optimized so the higher uh, would be better variable two is the rubber quality so the higher rubber quality would be better however variable three is not really that effective so it's probably running already optimized so that's the noise signal to noise ratio now this is the mean value once again you can see the high mean you get using the high level of thread party square inch and high quality rubber um, however variable three is not really that much of a change you can see all these numbers we have calculated in the ms excel they're all uh, same numbers you can go back to the video and check them now here it gives you the levels for factor one which is thread party square inch and you can see here that if you change the thread party square inch to higher level then you get a big impact 2.85 which is um, very high impact because this is in log scale um, so producing tire with the um, high thread party square inch would provide better tire life on the second variable same conclusion using better rubber quality tire would provide the um, best optimum result higher signal to noise ratio as good now variable three does not have as much impact as the other two because um, you don't get much change when you change from low to high so probably variable three is already running at its optimal level now this is the mean response so you can see just to visualize because this was in log scale it's kind of difficult to know how much impact you get now if you look at this um, the, if you use the higher thread per um, square inch you get about thousand miles more where the tire life is only 3500 so you get almost like more than 30 percent increase of tire life if you go from low to high same impact you get from the changing the rubber quality from low to high now you don't get much impact on the construction type so you get about 3000 here get about 3100 so there is not much of a big impact from the construction types so 
This is how you analyze and explain the Taguchi design in Minitab. By the way, this is the static analysis. In the next video, I will show you an example of dynamic Taguchi analysis.